Welcome to a new video from Day to Design Resort. My name is Monia and in this video we are going to draw this little ghost for an intro page for your bullet journal. And this is of course for October. And here is what you need. First of all, of course, your bullet journal. Whatever you use is fine, of course, here's the scribbles that matter. Then some colored pencil. Then a pencil set or just a pencil, a set square, then the micron fineliner which is absolutely a must have and rubber and then we can get started. For my monthly intro pages I usually use the right page because you know I just want to have it like a book so you, you can start uh, to look at the next page and it's all just starts on the right side and then you can go on. Okay, it's just my personal preference of course you can do it completely different. And then I start drawing with a pencil. I usually do that because I want to be able to wrap things off if they don't look right. And um, now I just have the page into two parts. First is a drawing part with a little ghost and a pumpkin. And then on the bottom is the months. So the monthly overview actually. So I start drawing my ghost and you see how I do that. I just don't uh, do it completely correct. I, I just uh, have some lines and then I put a little, uh, a little spider on the ghost. And then of course the boot, the, it shouldn't be missed. So, um, and then it needs some legs or hands, arms, however you call them. I don't know. I mean, it could be the legs actually. <laughs> so, and the rest is hidden under the white thing. And then um, the eyes, of course. And then I draw the pumpkin. You see me uh, drawing, you know, just something like an oval. And then I start, you know, uh, drawing the details. And then we are going to the details and uh, just, um, yeah, drawing the leaves and uh, uh, make it a little bit look like there are two parts on the page, or the top part and the bottom part. So it gets a little bit of dimension. So when I put on the bottom of my drawings a little line, it usually looks like there is um, yeah something like dimension and it's not yeah it's important I think For the monthly overview I use a set square and I try to be in the middle of the page as you can see and put 3.5 cm to the right and 3.5 to the left to have 7 days. So that is how I do it for this page. I have two lines here and into these lines I write the days of the week and under it I write the actual dates of the month.
as you can see for whatever reason it's not that easy <laughs> you you always go out of uh, the center and then you figure it was wrong and you started wrong and then you have to wrap things off and start all over you know sometimes uh, yeah it's like that and we have to get over it so don't worry don't be afraid of rubbing things out and start from scratch it doesn't matter I mean it's it's your journal it doesn't have to be perfect please always keep in mind it doesn't have to be perfect you it's your personal book and um, this is a place where you can start doodling where you can try things out and if it's not 100% perfect well that's how it is So once I'm quite happy with the whole page, I use my Micron Fineliner and that is the, when I start drawing all the lines. This means I'm looking more forward to a flat design in this spread because if I use an outline on my elements, it also means that I cannot go deep into shading. So I will show that to you in a second, it just, you know, you, you cannot shade over things very well if you have an outline because then it's a very hard break from the outline to the shading so if I don't do that and uh, I won't I won't use the micron fine liner and uh, give it a line an outside line So you don't really need to let the fine liner dr dry, but I usually prefer doing that because you know I don't want I don't want it to look bad. So in any case, I have finished with my lines, and then I go ahead and wrap over it. And you see what is happening now because I have wrapped so much. I uh, also wrap the colors off so it happens then you have just to go over it again don't worry about that as much you, you don't see it anymore once you are over again so it's a little bit annoying I know but it's not such a big deal right Now we go into coloring and uh, you see me just filling the pieces with a color. You don't have to use colored pencil, you can also use felt tips, but 
I thought it's a nice character which these um, cow pencil have that's why I use it for this spread and um, as I said I cannot do much with the shading so I will try in just a second to have a little bit of shading at the outlines of each of the elements I have drawn here So here you can see how it turns out. I go over the edges and have them a little bit darker and in the middle I keep it a little bit lighter and um, this means it has a little bit of shading here. Although it doesn't fit 100% as I said I have the outlines and that means usually you don't have anything like shading. But you know I really like it in this case so I will leave it as it is. So you see, we'll see doing the same thing with a green pencil and um, I just press it down for a part of the of of the here of, of the leaves and such and the rest I just go over it very lightly. I've chosen three colors the orange the green and a light gray because I didn't want to have more than three colors there's a lot of white with a ghost and um, but I needed some something for the details so I thought gray would be the best to choose from because it fits to the other colors but it's not standing out too much so I thought that the light gray is perfect for that so and that's it already we have done the monthly overview for October. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if so, please subscribe to our channel, leave us a thumb up, maybe leave me a comment and don't forget to click the little bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye!